Hi, I'm Holly with another Lime Bite. Here's the question. Once attached, how long before the tick makes you sick? It is well known that ticks harbor the bacteria that cause Lyme disease and that they transmit the disease when they bite. Technically, ticks don't actually bite. They drill their way through the outer layers of skin. Once they hit a blood vessel, they settle down to drink their fill. A tick may be attached for days before finishing its meal. At some point during that blood meal, microbes in the tick are injected into your bloodstream. Usually, it takes 24 to 48 hours of feeding before a tick becomes engorged with blood. There's a general perception that if you pull the tick off before it fills up, you won't get Lyme disease. But is that really true? Let's review the scientific evidence. This article was published in January 2015 in a peer-reviewed journal. It is a comprehensive review of all of the published research related to tick bites and transmission time for Borrelia burgdorferi, the bacteria that cause Lyme disease. Although Lyme disease is usually the focus of discussions about ticks and disease, ticks are known to carry and transmit a multitude of other microbes that can cause human disease. Many of the studies reviewed found that ticks were very often infected with more than just the Lyme disease agent, with Bartonella and Babesia most frequently found. This increase in pathogen burden is associated with more serious symptoms and can render antibiotics less effective. It is commonly reported by public health agencies that the longer a tick is attached, the greater your risk of getting Lyme disease. And if it hasn't been attached for 24 hours, there is little to no risk. However, the minimum time it takes for a tick to transmit disease has never been experimentally determined for humans. All of the studies on tick attachment time were done with animals. And in those animal studies, transmission of Lyme disease bacteria was sometimes shown to occur in less than 16 hours and frequently in less than 24 hours. Another consideration is that for other tick-borne diseases like Babesia and Bartonella, transmission time is completely unknown. It is known, however, that tick-borne viruses capable of causing encephalitis and even death can be transmitted in as little as 10 minutes. So, imagine you're out in the woods hiking, you come home and you go to bed. When you wake up the next morning, you find a tick attached to your skin, which you know hadn't been there the night before. You pull it off. Is it safe to assume that you won't get Lyme or some other tick-borne disease just because the tick was only attached for less than 12 hours?